we're on fire. Oh, fire. Anyway, welcome back to Jumper Cable Dads. Uh, I'm over today and we're working on the race cart. The old vintage Margay. I started uh, tearing it down the other day. Now we're gonna try to get the steering fixed. The old steering, the old steering was so rusted. I tried to drill it out and everything. It was just, holy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah even the uh, the clip is, uh, it's weld rusted, Yeah, rust, rust welded in there. So that was useless, so I had to cut it out. Got a new one. Now we're just trying to figure out how to mock up a new setup. Yeah, looks like we're gonna uh, got a 5.8 bearing there. Do some garage engineering today. <laughs> yeah, uh, here's another issue that we ran into. The original. Yep. Came out like a V, and this new one has Basically, like one side, but double. I bought the already welded one instead of the unwelded one. And these, Don't know uh, why. Yeah, these tie rod ends right here. Uh, well, these are permanent. So, if we run this set up, these tie rods won't work. Yeah, we're trying to spend as least amount of money as possible on this thing. So we're borrowing an engine from the blue mini bike. I had to get a new seat because the original seat was a little holy. Yeah, looked like it, it touched the ground a few, few too many times. So we're just trying to spend as little amount of money possible and just make it a fun little cart to, that the adults and the kids can ride on. I think one of the workarounds for the steering issue is we're just going to use some flat bar and just put it right up here to widen out that base. And then we're going to uh, drill some holes for the tie rods to fit in and it should work just fine. So I think we're gonna get it started on the steering. Yep, steering for today. Might need a little bit more than that. I know, I'm just, whoa, fire. <laughs> Just spray some brake cleaner on it. It'll put it out. That's not <laughs> <smell> funny. <laughs> We're on fire. Where? <gasps> Does it work? Yeah. That's all that matters. What's the problem? So, we can, well, it's not a really a problem, unless you don't want to turn. If you want to turn, it's a problem. So we made our little uh, tab. We just tacked it in. Tab that is the same space as the original. We didn't go down far enough. <laughs> and so when I turn, only one wheel turns because it just pushes the other one up. So, oh. good thing I just tacked it in. So that ain't gonna work. Yeah, let's scrap this one. <laughs> but our setup for our bearing and our, our new our new mount, a little five eight bearing. That worked out well. Just gotta put a little pop collar in there. Hold it in. Oh, wow! Look at that. That makes makes things easier for me. Use the drill. Oh, okay. I'll just stand here. Thanks. You're doing great. that motorcycle on my head. <laughs> that would not feel good. <laughs> That's not bad. 
loosen the chain or take the chain off. That's what friends are for. So somehow I lost the footage of us mounting the brakes, mounting the engine, putting the stage one performance kit from Go Power Sports, making the mounts for the seat. So we're just gonna skip to the fun part of us getting a full test ride in. I had to jump up because you were like close to my foot. <laughs> Like, is it broke or fixable? Nah, it came off. I need to find a better way to keep it on there. I think so. I'll do it with my hand if I have to. That's not that hard. Oh yeah. 